everybody welcome welcome it's raining here in Key Largo and we're so happy and today is our last day here on the island and we are heading to St. Martin Island so we're very thankful and uh, so, so today is our last day I'm trying to cook all the vegetables that I have before I leave it's easier to put in the fridge or freezers and, and in that way we can have it the rest of the day so this is my mix-up fry and it has some arrows some bora bean or bodhi um, and also some cabbage all home grown so what we have here is some oil I'll put in some tomatoes in there to start the cooking we're cooking out here on the fire side I miss cooking on the fire side guys while that's cooking up there check this out I have some onion some garlic and some seasoning as well garden freshness put in some of that pepper And I'm also uh, putting in some garlic in there as well. Just very simple. As you can see the pepper. Let's put in some garden freshness in there as well. Stir this in. I have some chopped up pepper. Let's put it in. And like I said, this is everything from the garden, uh, cabbage from um, Georgia garden, the bora or the bodhi or the long yard long bean from Mammy's BB's farm and we also have some arrows from the local farm here. So let's put these guys in. Oh, it's up. Okay, so let's do this. You can uh, cook this curry style, but I'm cooking it um, just saute with tomatoes and fresh garden seasoning style. And This is the first time I'm actually cooking this combination of vegetables and I've uh, never put cabbage like this before I, I do others. So let me know what's your favorite mix up. Mix up fry or saute. <laughs> Even though it doesn't need watering today because we're getting some rain. Yay for the rain. Very blessed for the rain. Now I'm going to put some salt, some salt in here to taste. And this is some fine thyme, frying dry thyme from the country of Guyana. My sister brought this for me, my sister Zorin sent it. And for all my friends, thank you so much for praying and your love that you're sending for Zorin. She's still in the hospital, but my mom says she's doing much better. She's actually finally eating so that, that's all good news and I'm also gonna put some scallions in here and let it fry up nice okay Ooh, look at this oh man it smells so delicious it's gonna it's gonna cook down too not very much so just take your time when you're turning <laughs> oh, I'm loving, I'm loving this rain. I know I'm saying so much about the rain, but here in Key Largo, we really don't get much rain. And the garden, even if you water it every day, I've lost so much because it's been so hot. 
So a nice soak in the garden and around there will be amazing. It's fantastic. Let me check out my Maruri from the garden. Nicely, this is already starting to cook down. Man, that looks delish. All the vegetables together. They're perfect to eat as a side dish or with rice, roti, vegetables, or by itself. Maybe with uh, some blackened fish, grilled chicken, or anything like that. You can also add some salt fish or any, any sort of meat or shrimp in here as well. Um, so what, I, what I'm doing with the squash and this is squash from Sage and, and Ken's yard, their garden in uh, Arcadia, Florida so thank you and this is the squash all chopped up here and it's, it's in a little bit of water and what I'm doing, I'm cooking some chicken and I'm cooking enough since this is our last set of food and we're leaving tomorrow for St. Martin so we're very excited for that our last meal and I want to cook it curry style because I'm not sure how many, I know how many days we'll be there. I'm not sure how many times we'll be getting curries. So I'm cooking, this is like a um, curry chicken with the, with the squash, the curry squash with chicken. And I cut, that, cut it up, seasoned, and it's been seasoned here for about an hour. So it's delish. And this is the squash over here. This is the squash that I already chopped up and it's ready to put in there. I'll of course cook the chicken a little bit first and put this most likely towards the end of the curries and these are some of the spices we are using guys garlic onion seasoning um delicious hot pepper and all this um and this is some masala curry powder jeera turmeric all that good stuff right in here with some onions as well so just a nice little cooking and uh, this afternoon really cooking on this on the fireside out here i miss cooking out there and of and it's raining with i'm loving me First, I'm putting in some onions in there to start to cook up. And I'll put the garlic and the pepper. Look at all that garlic and nice pepper there. I'm using some gingerly oil. And that's my in the oil that I bought from my um, India store. Put in this curry leaves in here to saute up as well. And now we'll put all the magic that will make it curry masala. So curry masala, mixed masala, curry powder, jeera, turmeric, and uh, some whole jeera as well. chicken all season and all the fresh garden freshness Check it out 
Let's stir in a nice masala and a curry into the chicken. I need chicken curry, curry chicken, and with squash. That's what's cooking here in Sandy's. That's what's cooking here in Sandy's backyard kitchen on the fireside trula. I haven't cooked on this fireside maybe in a month because we had all our plants and everything all around here. It makes it easier for our neighbors to water when I put all plants one place. So we've been cleaning, moving all the plants, putting on the other side. This is looking fantastic. I'm also making a little extra for my neighbor so I didn't add very much pepper to it. So check out the chicken and while that chicken is cooking let's put some salt to taste. And uh, put in some prep and this is some uh, dry thyme and also some green seasoning throwing some scallions in there too like cook up so let's stir this in I remember I'm adding some of the squash in here so I'm gonna let this bungee nice close this up bungee nice in there and then we'll add some of the squash and that's it when it's when the squash is cooked it will be finished and we also have um, our vegetables cooking in the other side let's check it out Ooh, looking good guys the smoke, I need something to eat. Nicely the vegetables, the, um, my fry up with the edos and also with the boron cabbage. So I take off the big heat and look, it's just cooking there with a nice little heat. And, uh, let's stir this in. Nice side dish guys. Let's check on the chicken. No, what is it? Sappy. Hear my sappy? That's also, it's, sappy is called oven mitt as well. For my international friends, check it out. Let all the smoke goes away. Let's stir this up. Ooh, nice, nice. It's bungeeing nicely. Smells delish, man. Delish. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get thunder. Guys, you hear the thunder there? You hear the thunder? Oh, nice thunder. All right, guys. So let's put some of the squash. Our chicken is pretty much finished cooking, so the squash gonna just steam in there. And with the squash, here comes some green seasoning and some scallions. So I'm going to just stir in the squash. The squash is there to just thicken the gravy. And uh, take 
can um, give it nice flavor. The squash doesn't have very much taste to it, so it will take up the chicken and the coriander masala into it. It's mostly chicken. Uh, I just need that squash in there as a, as a like a, a feeling, a body feeling there. Then you cover this and let it cook and you take it down with a little bit of gravy. We're eating rice with it and uh, we can eat roti later as well. And it's not overcooked or anything, you see. So I tore I, I torn on the fire, I torn up the fire a little bit just to dry down the little bit of water that's in here. I want it a little bit uh, drier. So just a little final cook, like another minute. Hey guys, so I'm cutting up some celery. Some celery. I don't have very much now in the garden. It's coming out of the season. And uh, so I have a little bit to put in my final touches. All right. Let's do this. Our lunch is finished. This is just the finishing touches. I'm ready to take down everything here, Johnny. So check this out. The squash Whoa. and chicken. Curry style. Nice. Now we're gonna put some finishing touches. Some celery and some scallions. And I'm also gonna put one of this hot pepper in there to steam for me. Uh, I didn't cook it very spicy for, um, for the neighbors. So I have it, it's all finished now. It's time to take down. Get a stir in the celery and then I will. Delish, this is looking. Let's stir it in. Wow, wow, wow. You see the squash? The squash is so whole and still there and tender. And this fat is gonna keep cooking. Everything is very warm. Let's take this down so you can have a better view. This down so we can have a better view. Take it down from the fire. how good this is looking wow fantastic and the squash and the chicken nice chicken legs and thighs yeah. our lunch is finished guys it's time to eat we're hungry I'm hungry and the vegetables is already finished John this is vegetable look cabbage Eros and Bora. Mm, looks good. This is the cabbage from um, the farm yeah. and the Bora from the other farm and the and and, and the Eros from the other farm. I mixed up. Ready to eat bud? And yep. I did not put any meat in there just for you. And uh, and then I cook the chicken, I cook cut it on the joints pieces just for you as well. Alright. 
Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Leave a comment. Let me know how you do your squash and chicken. This is our chicken, um, curry chicken squash with squash and also our mixed up veggies for our lunch on the fireside truller out here in the rain, thunder, in the garden, in the front yard.